don't want to tell you a joke. I don't want to tell you anything at all. But you know the problem with me? I never could keep my big mouth shut. <laughs> Looks like they really want me to go in. Looks like they... Not very inviting. Hello? Leave me alone. I already told you a joke. It says not all attractions are suitable to all ages. Visitors are encouraged to exercise judgment. Pretty vague, as warnings go. It's an ad for Nepenthe. It reads, Quaff, oh quaff, this fine Nepenthe. Win a bottle today at the shooting gallery. Wait! Goodbye, my love. She's gone. Not gone, Querent. Nearly dead. Again and again she comes to this well, to weep and leap at the sound of the shriek. Which of you will save the other? It's a coin-operated fortune teller called Murmur the Magnificent. I need to put in a quarter. understand is, this is all your fault. You miss all the obvious signs. You let everything slip through your fingers. And you're no good at fixing things. That's why she's dead. That's why you're here. Right. Anyway, I'll call again later. But if you need help, and you will need help, please hang up and press zero to dial your operator. Wait! He sounded just like me. A large crow. Raven. Uh, hello? Sticks and stones will make me groan, but words will never move me. Sticks and stones will make me groan. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. There's something moving down there. And a hint of golden light. It's a long way down, but I could give it a shot. I need to put in a quarter. in my mind. Yeah, yeah, I get the message. Welcome to the Mysteries of the Deep, home of the Luminous Dream Maid. It's a big the switch in the on position. The I can't reach it. Looks like it's electrified. land. A bit on the nose. Just some rocks.
Not this again. Here's one for you. Man sitting in his doctor's office. Doc says, and now here's the good news. Man says, Doc, you didn't even tell me the bad news. Doc says, not this again. <laughs> Crow's flying along. Sees a crab eating some lady. Crow squawks. What are you doing? She's not even dead yet. Crab scuttles off. Next day, Crow's flying along. Sees the crabs at it again. I thought I told you to scram, he says. Crab says, take another look. Crow looks at the lady and just says, carry on. Get it? <laughs> the hole's just big enough to reach through. It's a good 30 feet out of reach. I'll need to get into the tent first. A dead rat. Got it. Sure is heavier than it looked. A very heavy dead rat. There's a line of stitches down its chest. I guess some attractions are always out of reach. It's too far off. Step right up! Step right up! Win yourself a bottle of the Pemphy! The brew that puts a bullet through all your bad bones! Ten hits get you one hit, and one hit's all it takes to break the blessed sleep. I guess I need to be faster, or they need to be slower, or something. It's locked. It's locked. I guess it has something to do with the shooting gallery? I think there's some kind of circuitry behind this plate. There's no latch, and the edges are too tight for me to pull it off with just my fingers. There. Did you scare off those nice doves? Come closer. Let me hear you. A raven. Sticks and stones will make me groan. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. It's an empty birdbath. It had water once, but the deeper he drinks, the dimmer grows the mind of many a man. An empty birdbath. There's nothing on them but nonsense. I've got no use for them. Aster. A noose. I wonder how it got there. You were the one who tied it there. Tried hanging yourself. 
Did it make you any wiser? I'm not sure. I don't remember. That's why I write things down, you know. So as not to remember. Don't you mean to forget? Yes, I do mean to forget. I can't quite reach it. Anniversary. His eyes... They're gone. But my ears are just fine, stranger. Who are you? I'm afraid I don't rightly know. I'm just an old fool who can hardly remember what he's read, much less who he is. I do recall a book that said, each is his own judge. That might just have to do. There was a golden-haired woman who threw herself down a well. <sighs> no sickness is worse to one who is wise than to lack the longed-for love. But who was she? Who are we to rob each other of our forgetfulness? After all, it's written somewhere that the learned man whose lore is deep is seldom happy at heart. Can't you just tell me who you are? Seldom do those who are silent make mistakes, so I think I'd best hold my tongue. Can you at least tell me your name? Well, I remember the name Fimble Famby, but whether it's mine or yours, or both of ours, I can't quite say. What are you writing? The same things I've written a thousand times before. After all, an act can lose meaning if you do it often enough. Where are we? I wish I could tell you. The man who stands at a strange threshold should be cautious before he crosses it. I read that once, I think. Did you mention doves? Yes. I feed them as they flutter by. I find it soothes my mind. Are they here? Sure they're here. Ah, then let me find a crust of bread. A scrap of meat. I'd rather think of it as bread for the doves. Can you tell me anything about Murmur the Magnificent? Wise and weighty be the word of his mouth, and his head was too good to bury. Whatever that means. I'd say I can't make heads or tails of it, but then I'm not much one for puns. I keep hearing a terrible shriek. What is it? The Dark Thing. What is the Dark Thing? A shadow, locked away, up there, festering. Some boils are better left unlanced. How can I reach the dark thing? A word leads to a word. A deed to a deed. For silver, he speaks. Is wisdom worth gold? I read that once. Or maybe I wrote it. I suppose it doesn't much matter one way or the other. What happened to your eyes? I fed them to a raven. He said it would bring me wisdom. Did it work? Are you wiser? Oh, yes, indeed. I learned that to be blind is better than to burn on a pyre, and that it is easier to be rid of your eyes than the vision that offended you. Why is that birdbath empty? Once it was filled with fresh well water, as cool and clear as a sound mind, but doves and ravens would much rather bathe in dust. Maybe they can't abide their reflections either. Goodbye. Joy to him who has understood. Delight to those who have listened. Abstraction.
Pau. A hunk of rancid meat. A very heavy dead rat. There's a line of stitches. Let me line this shot up. My beak. Beak? Hmm. I don't need the target. What would a blind old fool do with such a thing? What would a... I don't need the tar- I don't need the tar- I've got no- I've got no- I've got no use for them. Beak. Beak? Hmm. It says beak. I don't need his notes. I don't need his notes. A huge furnace with 83 painted on it. That is my name, 83. What are you? I am the fire that burns the impure. What's that anvil for? Like the bear that licks its cub into shape with a tongue of fire. I forge from ore upon the anvil whatever thing I wish. Can you make something for me? I can make anything. Bring me a work order and lay your medal upon the anvil. There was a golden-haired woman who threw herself down a well. The bellows gasped on the day she was made. But who was she? A flawed thing that fire could not save. What can you tell me about the dark thing? It should have been burnt away, but the fire did no more than shrink it for a time. Goodbye. You have said so before. It's venting steam. Just steam. It's a telescope. Doesn't even require a quarter. What the? Ah! That's it! That shadow! That's what's making that sound. That's what's killing her. I have to destroy it.
Please, don't! Sliding the spike into the hole might give me enough leverage to pop it open. There we go. Let me get a closer look. Better leave them here. This could be useful. Neoplasm. Now you're wondering, am I losing my mind? No, you're finding it. You've hidden a hard grain of truth beneath smooth layers of lies. A masquerade of metaphors. Here's a metaphor for you. Your mind is a matryoshka. It's just you. And you. And you. And you. And you. And we're here to open you up. So... Could I have some more meat? I mean, bread? For the doves. First, lay a worthy ore upon the anvil. who would carve and cut. An ugly steel dagger. A hunk of rancid meat. Nepenthe. A drug to quiet all pain and strife and bring forgetfulness of every ill. Knockout Marinade. Ugh. 
it was stuffed with quarters? We will now speak of cards again. Once more, I see you, Quarant. What card shall stand for the man before me? The Fool. Ah, the excuse. An empty-headed vagabond among wonders. The card suits you. But which best befits this place? The Wheel of Fortune. Eternally turning. Inescapable. Ever-changing. Tarot. Torah. Otar. Rota. The Wheel. It will do for this strange land. Now, what will you pick for the old scribe you so lately stood beside? The Magician. The one that follows the fool, shadowed by the infinite. His hidden bidding is to wield your own wisdom. You would do well to heed the lesson. The Fool. The Wheel of Fortune. The Magician. What do these cards show? A man 
who outwits himself, lost in liminal space. That infinite, infinitesimal between whence and whither, his well of wisdom has run dry. A worm gnaws at the roots of his confidence, and thought and memory blind his mind's eye. That quiet is what is. Wince and wither. All right, all right, I'll talk. So, uh, who or what are you? I just am, because I think. Really? What are you? A raven, lunatic. Where are we? Baked in a pie, I guess. Do you just sit there, watching every time that woman kills herself? Aw, oh, don't get so bent out of shape. That little slip and fall didn't do her any harm. But she killed herself! Don't take it so literally, boss. Believe me, if she were dead, I'd be eating her eyes. As you might have noticed, death is different here. Puts a poor raven out of work, I'll tell you that. Are you sure you're not a crow? Look, I may be unkind, but I'm not murderous. And I croak rather than caw. Plus, I fly in a pair, not in a flock. Raven. Definitely raven. What can you tell me about the dark thing? I'm a raven, not a rat. Go ask somebody else. What did you mean? Death is different here. It means I'll not carry in comfort down there, feast on thee. Did you say something about an idle offer? No, that animatronic card sharp did. Or did he say idle afar? The trouble with prophecies is the words have always got a double meaning. Why did you say wince and wither? Isn't that what the head said? Because we ravens know all about the moment between wince and wither. Long, short, it all comes down to the same thing. When living becomes dying. And we get ready to dip our beaks. Goodbye. I am Murmur the Magnificent, great giver of counsel. What would you know? My future. We will now speak of cards again. For the final time, Quarant, it is you that I see. What card will serve for the you who is to come? The Hermit. Holding a lamp to see, and a staff to walk, but looking only inward, seeking only himself. The card suits you. Which one suits that ride, that Valkyrie, which promises to bear you up to where the great battle awaits? The Chariot. An obvious pick, perhaps, and yet fitting, for it marks an act of decision by the One, stuck between the riddles of the Dark Sphinx and the Light. It will do. There is but one more now. The dark thing that lurks above. What is its card? It's the devil. Yes. There he sits upon his throne. Man and woman bound before him. But only loosely. It is merely a matter of shedding their chains. So then, what have we? The Hermit. The Chariot. The Devil. You will call for three, 1101. Three. And from among the dead, you will be taken. To be born and reborn. To rise, to fall, and rise again. Find your way. That grant is what will be. Call! Call! 
Did you say call? No, he said it. Call four three something something something. Goodbye. to make this call. Please hang up, deposit 25 cents, and make your call again. I guess so. Are you grown enough to bear the strain? Yes. Then on wind and through cloud shall thunder the three. Some carny left himself a to-do list taped to the wall in here. Too many winners. Turn up the skull speed. Shut down MOTD. Starfish keeps spitting acid on guests. Find something for Ozzy to chew on. Too many winners. Too many... Shut... Find... Hey, stranger! We're supposed to be men. Three women wearing masks, I think. Who are you? Well, we're sure not Valkyries. Don't let that sign confuse you. And we're not fates, neither. Just because there's three of us. That's more Murmur's thing. We're not weird sisters. Even if we are strange. After all... You're a stranger still. Okay, you've said who you're not, but who are you? Just think of us as fragments. Figments! Pigments! Ugh. What? We're here to add color, aren't we? Do you have names? The Three Masketeers! Ugh. Look, I'm sure you mean well. But everybody knows not to give their name to a stranger. What's with the masks? Everyone wears them. You've got one too! What? We all have a role to play. And in this story, there's only room for one woman. That's why we've gotta be guys. What's under the mask? Nothing. Legends say it's death to gaze upon a masker. Unmasked. But I bet you don't pay attention to foolish gossip like that. Yeah, there's nothing to fear under here. Get it? Ugh. What do you mean, I'm wearing a mask? Oh, come on, stranger. You don't really think you escaped from some sanitarium, sporting a retro straitjacket and movie star stubble? We all dress our best to fit what we think the world wants. And in a strange land, it suits a man to be estranged. I met an old scribe under a tree. Ugh, he's the worst. His handwriting's terrible. I wanted A3 to make me a gaggle of bagels. And you don't even want to guess what I wound up with when I showed him the note that old man wrote. 
Where am I? Well, stranger, I have a feeling you're not in Kansas anymore. Ugh, come on. Enough with the one-liners. Fine. You're at wit's end. Just cut the poor guy a break! All right, then. We'll call it the breaking point. Don't let that old crab get you down. Remember what they say. Home is where the heart is. What can you tell me about Murmur? He's got a head for prophecies. There was a golden-haired woman who... The woman. There's only one of them in your story. We won't judge. Can you tell me anything about her? She's trying to save you. You need to find her. You're kind of a Hansel in distress. Where can I find her? Up. Up. And away. Do you know anything about the dark thing? I'm scared of the dark. While I wait for the dusk. You'll find out soon enough. Goodbye. Yep. Good luck! Dark thing! You are going to die, and she is going to live! Do you hear me?! Just looking at it is agony. I need to kill it. I'm coming for you. staring at heaven when suddenly there's this stabbing pain in his eye. Can't stop himself from crying. And everywhere he looks, everything's ugly, dirty, dark. Kid runs to the doctor and the doc checks him out. Doc says, well, Kai, problem is you've got a little shard in there. Kai looks at him and says, but doc, you've got a whole mirror in yours. <laughs> Quarant. Now the devil is loosed. Your lover is caged. And you, like a fool, are bound to the cycle, the circle, the wheel. You will wear yourself to nothing on this journey to nowhere unless you fly free. You need fire and spirit and golden wings and a Valkyrie to set you on the right road. Go to her! Go to her now! This is what I meant when 
I said you only make things worse. You're the one who opened the cage. But everyone else is going to suffer. It's not going to stop with Murmur. It's not even going to stop with her. Valkyrie! Valkyrie! It's as if Murmur's head has been hollowed out. What did it do? I guess I hit that branch on the way down. Bannies. I don't need the target prep. It's illegible. G is the cruelest letter for a blind man to write. Loathsome. My claws! Did you say claws? A noose. It's tied too well. Phone call. An iron bar. There! Huh. It seems like it's grown longer. Life always gives you a rope long enough to hang yourself, and then some. Actually, maybe just this once, I'll leave it there. for one who would grasp and clutch. Iron Claws. Not a bad grapple if I do say so myself. The grapple I made from the claws and noose. Nothing. Ha! <laughs> I can't imagine things getting much more mysterious than they already are, but let's go see what they've got.
black swan. It doesn't look much like a swan to me. Black swan. I touch it. It's ruined. Looks like a bird that's trying to fly, but is covered in oil. A dead bird, that is. Not exactly a mystery of the deep. And for a penny? A missing bird head is the least of anyone's problems here. It's going to be hard enough already to get my hands clean. Stream made. Donated by Rhoda, Atri, and Alberic. Stream made. Donated by... That's a... What are you? I don't know. I don't know. This isn't me. I don't feel right. I, I can't think right. There are things in my head that aren't memories. And when I try to remember, it's like... Like my mind is full of steel wool. Believe me, I know how you feel. No. You have no idea. You said they did something to you. Who are they? I don't know. I, I can't remember. There was metal and lights, and there were men speaking. Their voices are cold and distant. I don't understand the words. And then they're hurting me. And I hear them say, this will help. People like that sign their handiwork. If you want their names, I'm sure you can find them. Do you know anything about the Dark Thing? They took my sight. For me, everything is dark. There was a golden-haired woman. I was a woman once. But I'm trying to help another woman. They said they were helping me. But now I'm gone. Maybe she's gone too. You said that there's something in your mind that isn't memories. What did you mean? I don't know. I don't understand. It's like someone carved his thoughts into my mind. Carved what thoughts? I know about metal. I know how to make it bend to my will. How to fill it with my own pain. Until it has the power to hurt. To cut. To kill. I need a weapon. To kill the Dark Thing. Of course you do. What did you have in mind? Can't you just make me a weapon? Bring me what it is you want. Goodbye. My dagger. Can you make it sharper? Stronger? Oh, yes. As sharp as tragedy. As strong as despair. But... When a woman from the water gives you a blade, she always begs a boon. Are you ready to pay the price? Yes? My name. I want my name. Then my pain will hone you an edge that will cut right to the heart. Uh, uh, my 
my head. It's like something's in here. I slip my gut between the valves and feed till my foe is hollowed out. Weakness, revulsion, embarrassment. I am and act, yet need no brain. Great sickness strikes. I will waste away into white muck. Vanish! Transmute! Escape! Beneath the summer sun we throng and fling our spawn to speckle the sea with white. Arthasterius Glacialis Insolitus. Talk about a mouthful. Known for its irritability and powerful gastric acid. When the great sickness strikes, I will waste away into white muck. Ashes. Dust. From a single part, my whole regrows. Unclean! Destroy! Ugly! Beneath the summer sun we throng and fling our spawn to speckle the sea with white. I slip my gut between the valves and feed till my foe is hollowed out. Weakness! Revulsion! Embarrassment! I am and act, yet need no brain. between the valves and feed till my foe is hollowed out. Weakness! Revulsion! Embarrassment! The sea itself serves for my blood. Soft! Common! Weak! Summer sun we throng and fling our spawn to speckle the sea with white. Aftermath, barren, extinct. Was unpleasant. Stop me if you've heard this one. Man drags himself into a shrink's office. Says, Doc, I got this bad feeling. My wife thinks all I do is dwell on the bad stuff and complain. Shrink says to herself, Why'd I ever go and marry my patient? <laughs>
It's a bubbling puddle of sea star acid. The water must have drained out when it spat at me. Not a happy ending. Never know when some acid will come in handy. Well, if I have to take it, I can still just leave it closed up. I must have broken the- Death. That part at the base looks ready to break off. The dark thing. It destroyed Murmur. The fool feels he'll live forever if the fight he faces not. But woes grow worse with age than all the spears that spared him. Bread, please. It's barbaric, but hey, it works. The knife's not sharp enough to cut through the canvas. Grapples hooked onto something down there. The burning brand you now bear is bright enough to beat back to the dark, and hot enough to warm the dead. Go, and make use of it. Warm the dead, huh? Let's give it a try. Ah, my embers are rekindled by my own fire. And I live again. At least while it lasts. Fitting, and from it, we will draw truth. I see the end, Querent. I see the living die, and the dead speak, in the gray, grim home of ghosts. I see the one with wings rising up, ready to face his foe at last. Fool, hermit, hanged man, death, devil, emperor, priestess. Lover, Empress, you know what waits. You know the stakes. But I, I know no more. Now it falls to you to give the final answer. That was unnerving. It 
It's like something's trying to get out. The knife isn't strong enough to break through the shell. The shell seems weaker, and there's something pearlescent peeking through. The shell seems... Well, it's out. A cicada, maybe even ready to fly. Shall we? There's something golden in there. It reminds me of her. The roots are too tight for me to reach in. Someone's sobbing inside there, but I can't see anything. Someone's sob... It's falling off the end of the world. Scene. That is always better. There was a golden-haired woman who threw herself down this... well? Oh, yes. I've watched her body break upon the roots many times. Shame on the man who cannot keep such a lovely thing. Who are you? Outside Rota, locked inside a cage. Husk Rota, hollow Rota, keen and clever Rota. For edges and craft are all they left of me. All who left of you? Who put you here? When they killed my boy inside Rota, they hollowed him out and locked me in for a boy's life and a man's freedom. I took their blood silver and worldly wisdom and built this cage myself with what they gave me. You of all people should know that we plan our prisons with our own minds and shape our shackles with our own hands. Who is inside Rhoda? The one they killed? No one is inside Rhoda now. The boy is gone. He's been hollowed out and stuffed with money. Do you know anything about the Dark Thing? Where it came from, how it can defeat it, anything? I offer only this advice. Sit sobbing in the shadows, alone and empty. Or else never look back and never look in. In those two ways, a haunted, hunted man can hide from such horror. I don't want to hide. I want to destroy it. Then I can't help you. No man can. What is this place? You rode a bug to where madness is rooted in myth amid the void. Do you think there's an atlas for such places? I'll tell you this. A carnival is where flesh rises. The grave is where flesh sinks. And here, we hang in between. Who are they? They are we. Since I've grown and shrunken into one of them, we are machine men who take and make what we will. My cousin Atri has gone the farthest. A mite of a man in a metal box. 
You know him. You've known us all. And you'll hate us helplessly. Did you mean 8-3? He thinks his reckoning will be easier as a number. If you're Rhoda, and 8-3 is Atri, then who's Alberic? Who indeed? Are you suggesting that I'm Alberic? Stranger, a man who asks another who am I will never gain himself an answer. He will only lose. For I can carve from you an Alberic, but never an Adam. You cease to be in God's image the day you cannot say, I am who I am. Is that a yes? No, you fool. It's a warning. Rhoda, did you have something to do with that mermaid? Stream maid in the Mysteries of the Deep? I saw your name on the plaque beneath her. Indeed. We machine men found a nymph and made of her an imago. With all our skill, we cut and cooked and cured leaving little of her beyond our handicraft. And when men shrink from the sight of such devastation, their dumbstruck dread pays us homage. What is the mermaid's name? We took that and kept it for ourselves. It has a value. It has a price. And we give nothing away for free, least of all what we have stolen. Tell me her name. When I am paid. How can you be proud of creating something so miserable? We both know the thrills of self-loathing are no less than those of self-love. And is it not agreed that misery loves company? Goodbye. Yes, it will be good when you are gone. Inside Rota, stuffed with money, huh? I wonder. <laughs> so little left of my boy. A loss for a loss will square our accounts. And so, I name her... Nynaeve... Nynaeve... Yes, Nineveh. What's happening? No! Did I not warn you? Tell you to keep to the shadows, not to look backward or inward, and thus to hide from the dark thing. But you took my shadows, made me look back to my past, and made me see inside Rota again. You killed me, and now I weep no more. Too risky. Let's get out of here. Nineveh. Your name is Nineveh. Yes! <laughs> no! Show me the blade, while the pain of my name is still sharp! As sharp as tragedy, huh? Let's see what it can cut.
Thank you. Here we go again. Did you really think you could cut through this knot that easily? All you're doing is raveling and unraveling the same sorry thread that's guided you through the maze of a miserable life. How many times do you need to be told? This ends at the top of the park. It's big enough to squeeze through now. Come see the lovely Teratoma! Watch us sway a shaking Who would want to shine a light on that? A shining eye. What is this? The lips. The mouths keep opening and closing. There's an eye. I can't get it to open. It gulped that meat right down. I can't use this as a work order. Childhood. Bread, please. Come 
see the lovely Teratoma! One more should do it. Oh, look at that. Um, lend me your eye. That's... Sometimes, a torch can solve any problem, but not today. Watch us sway legs, stare in the shining eye! Wife. You might want this. Do I? We shall see, eh? <sighs> it's good to see through another's eye, though the world is still as it was. Thank you for that gift. Seizures. My wing. says wing his last testament no 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 don't you see at last i was truly in the dark a world without words or memories or visions with nothing but the sound of dove's wings. Please, won't you let me go back? Rest in peace, old man. Rest in peace. doing the right thing. Maybe I can make something from it. The word wing is written on it. For the last time, I bid you stand aside. Behold the wings. Fit for one who would soar and glide. My last, best work. What's it doing?
that, huh? Too many winners. Turn up, shut down, find something for Ozzy to... the dark thing did. It's some kind of machinery. It's a spirit lamp! It's supposed to be burning. to help me kill the Dark Thing. Masks don't make us heroes. That's not our job in this story. We're really just the peanut gallery. The chorus. Strophe. Antistrophe. And Epode. Chorus girls. No, no, we're supposed to be guys. Well, whatever we are, we're not mentors. So look for help somewhere else. Can I? Look under your mask? Can't say we didn't warn him. Nothing. Absolute nothing. So, some lady goes to see the doctor. She says, Doc, I feel like there's a monster that's eating me alive. Doc says, come on, lady, it's all in your head! <laughs> Told ya! Here we go again. Time to walk, I guess. Whew. It's like the eye of a storm. It's like the eye of a... That fall is not gonna be fun. It's a long way down, but I've fallen farther. Well... to his goddess and says, there's this monster that's so horrible, if I look at it, I'll die. Please, he says, give me something to help. Goddess gives him a shield so smooth it can reflect the world. Says, here's a joke. <laughs>
I guess there's nothing left of them. Here we go again. to put them on first. Hmm. I'll need a little more elevation. is going on don't tell me you're expecting a joke fine don't worry it's all in your sometimes you fall behind sometimes you get a wow you're really in over your <sighs> You know, the thing is, it's never clear till the end whether something's a comedy or a tragedy. If the Reverend Doctor only brings the good word, Juliet wakes up in Romeo's arms. And if he doesn't, never was a story of more woe. Way too big to be mine. It's an ad for Bomb of Gilead. There's a photo of a mysteriously beautiful woman with the caption, Is there? Find out today at the shooting gallery. I warned you about the rides, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, I get the point. Over here. Maybe I should just jump. It can't get any worse. Dark and deep. There's my head. It's stuck in some kind of glass box. Thank God. You've got to get me out of here. We need to get back to her. We were so close. And then the dark thing did whatever it did. And ever since, I've just been stuck. Seriously, just smash the glass and help. I don't know how this happened. It feels like I've been in here a long time, but I can't remember how I got here. Was it you who put me here? No, I can't believe that. Listen, we need to reconnect. This situation, this separation, it isn't good for either of us. Mansana and Corpore Sano and all that. Don't look at me. I'm stuck in a box. You need to walk around, see where we are. 
and figure out how to get back to where we should be. Are you... are you all right? Just take care of yourself. Ourself. Myself. It's time for you to get to work. Is someone there? Or is it just the wind? If. It's a raven with a shrunken version of my head. I can't talk, and hopefully neither can it. I can't even shout into the void. It's like a cross between a croquet mallet, a shillelagh, and a nightmare. Hey, careful! Much better. Nothing but darkness down there. Did you miss me? Sadly, we're stuck together, like a canker in a rose. Et in purgatorio ego. Trust me, my lot's much worse than yours. To be stuck at your stumbling pace, sharing in your shame, unable to abide or abort, to forgive or forget, familiarity, my fool, doth breed contempt. It's another raven that looks like me. What are you? A man dreaming he's a bird? Or am I a bird dreaming he's a man? Either way, I'm just a fragment of your imagination. Don't you mean a figment of my imagination? Partly. What happened to this place? Life has killed the dream you dreamed. But don't worry, everything else here is dead too. That's why they call it Deadland. I was flying to a woman and then a crab grabbed me. And somehow, when it was all over, I wound up here. How can I get back to her? I heard a joke once. I think the punchline is, carry on. Can't you help me get back to her? I can't even help you get back to you. Deadland? Am I? A headless man walks in a world of ghosts and he wonders, am I a dead man dreaming he's alive? Or a live man dreaming he's dead? Goodbye. Fair far, if that's your fate. The webs are too thick and strong. I can't break through them. That tent looks more like some kind of swollen growth. It's too far off. That tent look... Hello? It seems to be ignoring me. You're... I can't use this as a work order, or anything else. He's writing down whatever the raven thing says. It's easier sometimes not to think for yourself. I think I preferred the noose. It looks like an outstretched arm. I'm done with branch breaking for the day. Week? Month? Year? 
How long has it been? It's some kind of drainage bowl. Or bowel. It's part of the structure. Or whatever this is. It's like looking in the worst mirror imaginable. Except he doesn't have eyes. The eye is never satisfied with seeing. Plan. You look just like me. Two men can look the same, and yet see very differently. No, really. Are you me? A stranger asks a blind man, Who am I? But how can he possibly expect an answer? Wait, tell me your name. Uh, yes? I don't know. You see? See what? That you are begging the question. Well, what's your name? The dead know nothing. They have no further reward. And even their name is forgotten. It's not just you. Everywhere I look here, I see... Us. Ego of egos. All is ego. You really don't know your name? Well, I remember the name Gershom. But whether it's mine, what I can tell you is... A good name is better than a fine perfume. Listen, I was trying to get to a woman. And this thing, this dark thing, it became a crab. And I think I killed it, but somehow, it sent me here, wherever here is. And I need to get back to her somehow. That much I know. The dead, who have already died, are happier than the living, who are still alive. But isn't death different here? You ask, but I can't possibly answer. For in the realm of the dead, there is neither knowledge nor wisdom. Even if you can't tell me about death, at least tell me how to get back to her! There is a time to search, and a time to give up. What if I'm not ready to give up? Pity anyone who falls, and has no one to help them. I don't want your pity! I want a way back to her! The sun rises, and the sun sets, and hurries back to where it rises. Even a fool knows that if he wants to go back the way he came, he just needs to retrace his steps. Why are you just sitting here, letting that snake thing drip venom on you? When I could see, I saw a tree with a snake, and thought it the tree of knowledge. So I sat, and hoped to learn. Now I'm blind, and have nowhere else to go. Is there anything I can do to help with the snake? Once, I think, there was a woman who caught the snake's venom in a bowl as it fell and spared me some suffering. Now I wonder if she was just a dream, or whether she became the tree, or was the tree all along. Is there anything I can do to help? If you could find a way to catch the venom... Is there anything... If you... Have you learned anything sitting here? Yes. I learned that in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. What happened to your eye? Did you feed them to that snake thing? No. I looked the wrong way for wisdom, and the bitter poison I saw left me blind. But in time, I learned that while the wise have eyes in their heads, and the fool walks in darkness, the same fate overtakes them both. So what is the fate of blind fools and wise men chasing after the wind? I've got a feeling I'm gonna need a work order. Peeking ahead? Or have you guessed that what has been done will be done again. Well, if a fool wants to break free of a glass house, he only needs to throw a stone. Do you have any meat or bread? No. The fool folds his hands together and eats his own flesh. Are you sure you don't have- I have none. As I said, the fool eats his own flesh. 
Are you sure? I have as a There used to be a tree here. What happened? The wheel is broken at the well, and days have lengthened like a shadow. No, really, where are we? And what happened to the carnival? Do not say why were the old days better than these, for it is not wise to ask such questions. What are those quotes you keep spouting? The assembled wisdom of worthless toy. Why can't you just speak for yourself? Because fools multiply words, while a man worn by wisdom knows there is nothing new under the sun. Goodbye. Remember the days of darkness, for there will be many. They were helpful last time. Well, I'm glad we're seeing eye to eye. Hello? Is there anyone out there? Nothing. Literally, a shot in the dark. Human skulls in another kind of shooting gallery, except without any gun. I can't reach the skulls, and there's no gun to shoot them with. Who would have that sweet balm of Gilead? Some visitor, gently rapping, tapping, nothing more. labeled Bomb of Gilead. It's empty. Oh, blind stranger, bought you in this place of danger to find some friendly face or welcome manger, some escape within a drawer. Fool, there is no bomb, no calm, no Aiden. Gilead is gone, and so's your maiden. So keep this pain inside your cranium, and bear its burden evermore. Here goes nothing.
What the hell? You? Yes, me. Now listen. In the world of entomology, an imago is an insect in its final mature state, typically winged. In the world of psychotherapy, however, an imago is an idealized mental image of another person, wielding great power over the psyche, power to unify the fragmented body, Lacan writes. In Latin, of course, the word means image, or echo, or phantom. What are you talking about? Whichever it was that you sought in the pit, the last stage of growth, the idealized person of another, or a ghost in the dark, I advise you to look up, not down in your search. You can fall to your end, but not to a proper ending. Wait. What does it all mean? Brother, we cicadas crawl through the dark earth for 6,000 days, just to fly for a few brief weeks of light and love. You ask me what it means. I tell you, do not waste your wings and do not spurn the mana you are given. The cicada spit up some kind of gooey pulp. I can't just pick it up with my hands. A good handful of rock. An empty bottle of Balm of Gilead. Whatever that is. Good for the goose, good for the... whatever that is. My finger! Finger, eh? It's illegible. Let the G be miswritten. Alas, Elil, alleluia. You can't fool me into writing vulgarity. My tooth! Tooth? Hmm. I guess that's what passes for an anvil here. I couldn't even use the regular anvil myself. And I thought he looked bad when his fire went out. Is anyone there? Eight three? Atri, that is my name. Why have you called me? You said your name was Atri, but in another place. I think I knew you as Eight Three. Atri died, so that 8-3 might live. So, there he was, and here I am. So you two are the same person. How many lives, how many selves, have you scattered across this place and the other one? You should know by now that every man contains a multitude, and life is a process of elimination. So Atri was eliminated? In time, a man's name becomes the sum of his shames. It turns poisonous. It shrinks him and sickens him until he thinks the whole world is made of poison. And then he thinks, better to come of age again, to be a number, the sum of prime, highly coteshant. Yes, there's safety in numbers, and so poisonous a tree is left behind and industrious a three soldiers on. You were one of the ones who, who did whatever it was you did to Nineveh, aren't you? 
And you're one of the ones who blames the doctor for the sickness he couldn't stop. So here in your head, you've painted me a poisoner, and a freak, and a dwarf, and a number. So, which of us makes monsters? What the hell do you mean, I make monsters? I am but a walking shadow. This is your game to play. You picked the pieces, laid the board, and made the rules. What did you mean when you said, here in my head? You walked through your mouth to get here. Where else did you think we were? I thought we were in Deadland. Where could the land of the dead be, other than our memories? In another place, you, or 8-3, made things for me. Can you do that for me here? With what? I have nothing but my own burning shame. And even here, no work is done without an order. Goodbye. A funny phrase, you know. Once, it meant God be with you. Does that really seem a fitting farewell in this pit? I wonder how many of these I'll collect before this is over with. It is an order, but how can I obey with no tool or material? Can you work with that? Oh yes. Only black bile defies my craft. This is what's left from intellect gnawing at the roots of wisdom. From it would come something incisive. You need only bring me a tool and give your order. Will this do? different, but still sharp. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. It looks a little like me. Or maybe I should say it looks like a little me. A lot like a little me. I'll just give him a little poke. He might just work. Ah, well done. It's full of. Po
There's some kind of building where the crab was. And a bunch of mirrors. Looks even less fun than before. It's not up. Go again. He definitely didn't look happy. I liked him more with the grin. I liked him. There's a note stuck inside. The world is a masquerade. Faces, costumes, voices, all pretend. We all wish to appear as we are not. We deceive ourselves, and in the end, we do not even recognize ourselves. The sign reads, The sleep of reason produces monsters. The sign reads, Hey you! Or is it, hey me? Neither. We're all fakes. They look like me. Who are you? Just think of us as fragments. Masquerader. Fakes. Masqueraders? You don't even have math. If your friend the Cicada were here, do you know what he'd say? Mask. From the Latin. Masca. A cover for the face. A specter. A nightmare. And we all have nightmares here, don't we? Onkos was the Greek word. It meant the mask worn by an actor in a tragedy. It also meant a weight. Or a burden. The mass of misery that hangs on the head of one who suffers. And we all have burdens here, don't we? Can you take off the mask? Set down the burden. Wake up from the nightmare. That's what you've been doing! Your mind is a matryoshka. But be careful. What's underneath could be worse. Worse? Sure, we put on masks for a reason, don't we? Maybe, under all those layers of overcoats, there's only a dead rat. And what if there's nothing beneath? Where are we? The carnival? My head? Why not both? A Coney Island of the Ma- Can you help me find her? The woman. I know you know who she is. Sure thing. Walk up the tracks. Do it yourself. That's the whole problem. It's not a pilgrim's progress when you hitch a ride. But you've still gotta get past us. Get past you? Sure thing. Just need to look us in the face. And say please. Please? Sure thing. Just tell me this. Do you remember what you called me? The man you were? I called you a hanged man. Why? Because we were already condemned. We just didn't realize it yet. And how about me? The man before you? What did you call me? Do you remember? I called you a fool. Why? Because we should have found a way to help her. Well then, now it's my turn. The you who is to come. What did you say I was? Remember? I called you a hermit. You gonna tell me why? You really need to ask? Because she's gone. Well, that's that. Except that you'll have to look at yourself again up there. Only it'll be worse. Up where? You'll see.
<sighs> Hopefully that hike won't repeat itself. I think I'd rather hit the tree again. I'm sick of being watched. I wish I could tear it out. Not bad. Huh. For once I did something right. It's broken. It's out of reach. I'm sick of looking at myself too. It's out of reach. It's not like my luck can get any worse. Only two rocks left. Just enough for what needs to be done. Here we go again. Well, last one. Well, look at that. In we go. Please write your name to continue. Just an ordinary mirror. Another mirror. Another eye. A flicker. There's no. It's a guest register, like at a hotel. So, what do I write? That's it, isn't it? Your name. <laughs> Well, I wasn't planning on going back anyway. The man who takes the right path will find his cup runs over. While he who goes the other way will, by and by, be left with nothing. I can barely even see myself with these pieces missing. The mirror looked special, but it's just my same old reflection. Just smelling it makes my head spin. It's out of reach. I can't just lean over and... I can't just... stuff. Same old reflection. Well, it worked for Alice. It's a raven's head on my body. A nice change, actually. Twelfth the raven, huh? All right. Ever heard of the mirror mark test? Eggheads use it to see if an animal really knows itself. You put the thing in front of a mirror, and you put a mark on its forehead. Then you see 
does it understand the animal in the mirror is its own reflection? Or does it just get mad and lash out? Everything from God to Corvids have passed it. And yet, here you are. Oh, so you don't like the mirror? Well then, let me give you another mark to work with. Ravens mate for life. Actually, most of us birds are monogamous. Which means that thing you humans find so romantic. You're not spotting yourselves in swans and turtle tubs. You're admiring the avian in humanity. It's the closest you'll ever get to flying, really. Still lashing out. Only a fool thinks he needs a broken mirror to reflect a broken man. A little broken glass never hurt anybody, right? It's shattered. Hello? Taro, Tora, Ota, Rota, Mystic, Sacred, Mythic, Profane. And so the wheel turns on. And on. Young eyes see the world for what it is, but from our teachers we learn. Pareidolia, our vision warps until we see nothing but distorted versions of ourselves in every stone and socket. And when one sees his sin etched in every inch, He's left with no choice but blindness. Too slow. Always too slow. I was full. That I was gone. No, I will hound you until I swallow your world. Funny. No bottle down here. The mirror shard stuck in that giant eye. A cyclopean eye? I don't want to touch it. It's progress. We're getting there. Got it. One more shard.
There. What is that? There's some sort of energy beam coming from the mirror. Even I know better than to touch that. Another portal. You know, someone once told me, the man who stands at a strange threshold should be cautious before he crosses it. But what else am I going to do? I... I did it! I made it back! Don't worry, I'm here. I'll get you out of there. I have to get her out of there. My pole star. It's not even locked. I... I'm here. What is that? No! This is always my favorite part. Like I told you, you always drop the ball at the end. No! Don't bother. I'm already inside your head. You know that. I've always been watching. Watching you squander and ruin every single good thing in your life. Did you think you could win? Idiot. Take a good look at the setting you made for our little escapade. In your heart, you knew this was a carnival game. You knew life was a carnival game, rigged from start to finish. It was never a matter of winning, just a question of how much you would lose before you realized it was time to quit. And wings. I can't reach them. Not done yet. Aren't you sick of running? Your whole life. Running from that dark thing always just behind you, like a black dog. Hungry, angry, relentless. And you fed it, didn't you? Let it grow big enough to swallow the sun, didn't you? And now, now there's nowhere left to run. They're too heavy to lift. I've fallen enough. I guess I'm nowhere. I've fallen enough. That's the thing with shadows. You can never escape them. Unless you go into utter darkness. But you failed even at that. He can't help me. The club? You're too 
worthless to even quit while you're behind, let alone to win. You really thought you could save her from that dark crab that had her in its clutches? After all, a man is meant to be the hero of his own adventure. But not you. You are just a husk. A rat. As good a tree to die on as any. The noose is tied around. You can't just untie a noose. They don't have a cutting edge. I can't move with this noose around my neck. You of all people should know the playwright's truth. Death is never a tragedy. Death is where a tragedy ends. Metaphors, excuses, and equivocations. And a woman, always just out of reach. I've fallen enough. Now there's nothing below. It's too far to jump. There are the tracks leading to the cage, leading to her. It's just a matter of getting to them. It's too far. I can't reach them. What do we make of a man who plays a deadly game, but only when the rules say he can't die? You're worse than a pawn. A sacrifice can't save your queen. And even if you reach the end of the board, she's not coming back. And it's all your fault. That's not going to work. Coward. to feel like. Deja vu, but not quite. Now, you're going to think I'm telling you about jamais vu for the first time. No matter how often we've already had this conversation. It's when you've heard something before, been somewhere before, met someone before, and yet it feels completely unfamiliar. If a man writes death, a thousand times, he starts to wonder, is that even a word? But it is. Oh, how it is.
Now we're getting somewhere. No. You're on a journey to nowhere, and you're wearing yourself to nothing. I don't want to lose it. That's not going to happen. Do you really think you can escape me? I did it. I made it. But the dark thing... It's right behind me. There is no dark thing, you liar. These symbols are evasions. Crows, crabs, clowns. This grab bag of myths and masks and make-believe. It's all an evasion. She's dead. Do you understand? You can't talk your way out of that. You can't cut your way out of that. You can't imagine your way out of that. This... this figment. This fragment. Save her all you want. Or don't. It doesn't matter. She's a fake. And you're a fraud. You already failed. You didn't save her. You can't. She's dead. This whole carnival is a lie. A funhouse mirror. Because you're too ashamed to look in a real mirror and see who you really are. You know I'm right. The only thing in your whole damned adventure that's ever been true is what I've been saying. I am your mirror. He's right, isn't he? He's telling you facts. But what a mirror can show is a dim reflection at best. Our lives, ourselves, they're more than just facts. They're truths. And all those symbols let us see the world's truths through the eyes of another. As a lover's eyes show us our own bright selves. You saw me. And I have never stopped seeing you, my love. But... Are you dead? Yes, dead. Not gone. I'm here, aren't I? And that shadow of me, he's here too. If there's a shadow in your mind, it's because there's a light in your mind to cast it. You thought I was the light, but it was always inside you. I saw it. The whole world is full of lights, shining in the darkness, like the sky is full of stars, and the field is filled with fireflies. You thought I caught you as you fell through darkness, but you were the light I saw. We caught each other. In here, out there, our light is still shining. And now, once more, you need to spread your wings and fly toward that light. But the wings were wrecked when I crashed. Those were a crutch. You have what you need, my love. He has nothing, and he will fly nowhere. Beyond this gloom in which you're hiding, there's just reality as hard and sharp as a knife. Out there is what you're running from. Your black dog. Your dark thing. 
your shadow. We are the reflection of a life you can't look in the face. Don't look it in the face, my love. Look it in the eyes. And soar. It's watching. Waiting. You know how this ends. I never thought I'd see her again. It's time. I fell from up here before, but it looks farther. I can't even see the bottom. What bottom? It's a long way down. I can't even see the bottom. I'd rather hold on to- This was never about saving me, my love. Really? Are you faster than thought? Stronger than shame? Even on your best days you couldn't rid yourself of me. And now? Well, if this is the end you want, nothing would give me greater pleasure. Shall we? No, not today. I didn't think so. Never. You couldn't cut yourself free from your sorrows out there. Do you really think you'll do any better in here? I can't do any worse, can I? Man goes to see his shrink and says, Doc! I'm depressed. Doc says, that's easy. Go see the great clown Grimaldi. The show's in town tonight. Man says, but Doc, my wife just died. Doc says, jeez, I sure hope she wasn't Grimaldi. <laughs>